nevertheless, um, you know, what you think about um, this Edgar Belanga and Canelo situation, man? I mean, September 14th, got a pretty good card. PBC put together a nice one. Uh, but in the same time, that main event, man. Man, listen. I got Canelo shutting a clean shutout. And then, you know, Belanga at the same time got that punches chain. That one big shot from out of nowhere. That's the type of fight. It's it's going to be. Uh, if he don't come with the big shot, I got him getting his ass with every round. Every round? Yeah. Oh. He, he, he can't outbox Canelo. Right, right. The only right. chance he got is to bring that hammer. You think he could win round one? Nah. Nah. <laughs> Not even one. Nah. I might be wrong. This is my opinion, but yeah, I don't yeah. see. You know? Um. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, do you feel like this is a cherry pick? I ain't going to say a cherry pick, but it, it's, it's better competition because he could still fight Benavidez as his three-year mandatory. He said, yo, I like how you added that one, the three-year mandatory. Three-year mandatory. <laughs> what's, in, what's in your DNA to not fight, to make you not fight Benavidez? It's a weakness in the DNA. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like when I said, uh, what's the kid name? Keyshawn lost to uh, the Andy Lynch. Cruz. Andy Cruz four times. Four times. What's in the DNA that not want you to get that back? No offense. That's just my way of thinking. No, no, no. I remember you told them on the live. Yeah. Um, Come on. Get that back, man. One time in the first yeah. rows, and that way he'd make up for all the losses in the amateurs. You know what I'm saying? For sure. For sure. Um, that's that's a good that's a good fight. And it, and it seems to me that you, you like Andy Cruz in that fight, too. Yeah, I like Andy Cruz, man. Andy Cruz, is, it, he's sitting down good. good. He's looking, you know, we working with um Bozy and his he's shot and he game. You know? No, he's definitely And then you hear, people, you hear people say, he only had three pro fights so far. When but when Lomachengo come over here with all these amateur fights, they rushed him with two or three fights. They had no problem. Oh, he's the greatest thing on earth. But now Andy Cruz gotta have twenty fights. Get the hell out of here. I ain't talking Keisha. I'm just talking about the, the, the fans. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Loma Chico was doing it. Oh, the greatest ever. They he praised got, him. He got a mean pedigree in the Amtis. So, so do the um, Cuban kid. He got to give, give him a shot. Yeah. 100%, man. I definitely want to see that fight when it definitely comes. You know? Um, you know, Looking at uh, Danny Garcia and, you know, Lara fight, you know, a, a lot of people got different mixed uh, assumptions on that fight. What's yours? Wh who do you like in that fight? The boxer or the puncher? Lara and... Um, Lara kind of a puncher, too, in that fight. Yeah. Um, he's 40 years old, but he, he he's not a beat-up 40. He's strong, too. Mm. He still can box. I just don't think... I think it's a good fight for um Danny. what's his name? What's his name? Danny yeah. Garcia. It's not a good fight for Danny. I mean Danny can try his left hook, but if that don't work, what are you gonna do? You know? Yeah, the, the stylistic matchup it, it's not it don't look good the range, and then, right? Andy, I mean not Andy, um the cute little boy, he's still strong, man. Still moving good too. Yeah. No, I, I I like Laura. I, I like Laura um, in that in that fight as well. I do. Hey man, the Puerto Ricans. I, like I like Garcia a whole lot, but I just think he's biting off too much, man. He can't box with him though. Is what you saying? No, and he don't bring that that relentless pressure that it'll take to beat Laura. You know what I mean? Yeah, he sit back too much. Wait he for did. counter shots yeah. too much. Don't let his hands Boxing go. Spurts, you know. Mm -hmm. I just don't see him winning. 
You don't see it winning. Now, um, as far as, you know, Caleb Plant is concerned, you know, he's on the card. He's fighting an undefeated fighter. But, like, do you feel like maybe an Edgar Belanga could, you know, fight somebody like that coming off of a loss? And could that be a competitive fight for Edgar? I think um, he outboxed uh, Belanga. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Yeah. 